You're welcome back. The last lap of the show, Sports Plus on Lagos Television. And I've got two young men with me this morning. The future of sports, the future of football in Nigeria can be better than what it is right now. But the good news is that they're not relenting at all. A lot of young people, a lot of persons that I know are doing everything they can in their little corners to ensure that football is better, that sport is better in our country, Nigeria. And my pleasure this morning to welcome uh, Mr. Paul Ogulaja. You can see him. When you see them dressed like this, not say <laughs> that they're the players. I'll be Paul, I'll lie. Well, uh, you're not, you're saying the truth. Let's just say it that way. <laughs> good morning, it's, it's Mr. good to have you here, Paul. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Godwin. And next to him is uh, um, the team manager of an academy. You'll find them, they have a very strong presence on social media. What would be the name of your company again? Ablaze Football Academy. That should be your name, Abi. My name is Osho Samuel Olua Fisayo. Osho Samuel. Guys, it's good to have you guys here. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, Osho Samuel. I don't want to forget that. But the last one, please forget that one. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, let me just stay with that. All right. Osho, tell us about uh, Ablaze Football Academy. And it's about um, what? Anessing talent? Yes, and um, also helping kids on the streets to you know, um, get out of the street and um, discover themselves beyond what is happening out there. So we try to help the kids into schools, take them away from social vices. We okay. get them in, um, scholarships in schools and um, also try to help them achieve their dreams as footballers because in Ikorodu, football is not like the way it should be. Okay. But So what we do is we try to see all those boys who don't have the money to get there and then we bring them together, look for academic scholarship for them. At least we have about 15 to 16 kids that we are sending to schools. And um, Schools in Lagos? Schools in Lagos. In, in Nikoro, within in Nikoro, Nikoro, within Nikoro, Nikoro. Oh, fantastic. And um, Paul has also been a very, very good person mm. in that aspect too. Well, what, the, the, the reason for Ablaze Academy, yes, a football academy, yes, sir. was because you saw that a lot of kids around mm. Nikoro do Despite being talented, we're going into social vices and it's been a problem for me. There was a time I was coming back from church and I saw some kids where they are smoking weed and they are playing street football too there. That's when I got the idea that why not just pick those boys, take them away from this kind of environment and give them a comfortable place where they can, they can have a meaningful life. So we try to make sure we teach them the ways of God and also try to put them in school also. Mm, I like that God so, plan. So they, uh, they, they go to, on Sundays, we make sure they don't miss their church services. On Fridays, we make sure they don't miss their prayers in the mosque. So we put them in camp. We have a camp where we put them. And over the years, it's been a very, very... How, how long has it been? It's been eight years now. Eight wow. Years, eight years now. Mm. <laughs> wow. What, tell me something you look back at today and you say, thank God I took this step. Well, um, I have a boy who lost his dad and his mom while growing up and he has lost hope. Wow. But right now he's playing for Giant Billers in the NNL. Mm. And seeing him sometimes make me cry and say, thank God I made the decision on this boy to help him get to the place where he is right now. And, and that's through the help of um, my wonderful friend. Paul, they here. say you are the, you are the Mr. Fisset. <laughs> As it were. Uh, scouts, you know, and what have you. I, I, I have my own issues with scouts, you know. But again, there's Paul. Uh, pleasant testimonies about you, you know, doing... Why did you... At your, you're so young. Why, why scouting? You should be playing football. Uh, well... Uh... When I embarked on this journey, it was because I had to make um, a decision, you know. Um, Nigeria is not like a friendly visit for young footballers back in the days, back in our own time. So I couldn't make it as a professional footballer because we had little people coming in, uh, little people coming into the country to see all this. You're talking about football. scouts now. Yeah, we're talking about scouts. Mm. So, but now we're in the social media age. And, uh, and I have a lot of young boys, young talents, clicking the right boxes that I know that with my God-given gift, my eyes, my ears, my attitude, and of course, I'm a professional scout of Ipso UK. So with that, I go into straight slums, uh, you name it. A scout is not a coach. No, a scout is not a coach. 
I thought it's only coaches that can spot and discover <laughs> talent. <laughs> well, no. coaches, coaches will probably go somewhere and they will talent sports. They are not scouting. You could easily, everybody can talent sport. You could easily go somewhere and watch, oh, this guy is a good player because he can dribble. But is he doing the right things he's supposed to do in the right position? Is he, is, is Are you saying a scout is more knowledgeable than a coach? No. A coach, what a scout does is he brings a particular, a certain player, gives it, gives it, proposes the, proposes the players to a club, then tell the sporting director or the coaches are like, oh, I have this player, I feel he's going to fit into your team or your style of play. Then it is the coach that will watch the player and like, okay, I like this boy. Let's see whether he will suit. My experience this has told, my spirit tells me, my experience tells me that if a scout, the Nigerians, some of them, not all of them now, yeah. you have some good ones. <laughs> um, if you have 10 scouts in Nigeria, if eight of them give you players, all of them are not good. <laughs> the eight, I'm telling you. I'm not telling you what I think. Oh, uh, well. That's I, why I say a, a scout is not a coach. But anyway, mm -hmm. Paul, you, you've done wonderfully well. Why are you partnering with uh, Blaze Football Academy? Uh, he's been my friend and my partner for a while now. So there's a competition coming up, going to run for like 17 weeks. Oh. Yeah, Mavlon under 19th championship. In so, Ikorodu? No, in Legacy, Legacy Stadium. 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 Okay, okay. So um, I have um, Barista Kenneth, who is a very good friend of mine and the CEO of Mavlon. I spoke to him because I did it last year. It ran for 10 weeks and it was a successful one. So this year we sat down like, okay, what do we do now? We have this young talent everywhere. everywhere in different academies, you know. Summer transfer is coming. I've spoken to some clubs that I'm in contact with and some agents also. I'm going to run a league. What I do, I will live stream it or send, it the U uh, send them the YouTube link, let them see, and work towards players that can come in for trials in the future, both in the NLO, NNL, MPFL. And so I'm... I'm uh, ultimately, Nigeria will be better for it. Yeah. Yes. And job be better for it, and it's safe cost, you know. Instead of an agent to be traveling down, a scout to be traveling down, what they can do is week in, week out, every Sundays and Wednesdays, you just have to watch. Then you you take down mm. your notepad and jot it down. In that There's place. no reason for you to go and do COVID tests and whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Stay in your country. country. Yeah. See the talent that abound in Nigeria. Yes, and you take the decision as. If yeah. sports director, yeah. sporting yeah. director, yeah. as yeah. we we'll call them. Yeah. So precisely when, from when to when? Um, starting this Sunday, February. This 20th. Sunday. Yes, this Sunday. The next 48 20th. hours. Yes, yes, the next 48 hours. Wow. Then it will last you um, June 12th, mm. 2022. What do you think about Nigeria? Um, our players. Some say that we have too many average players right now. <laughs> uh, we, I don't think we have too many average players, but I think the ones that we are seeing might probably be average players at this time. Okay. I think we have border talents, but we are not getting the right, play, right players to the right places. Mm. And we have to look at the environmental factors, we have to look at education-wise, you know. Like if you go to the north now, you find a lot of beautiful midfielders, attackers, fast pace, their lungs are, are very good. You find them there. If you go to the east, you find a lot of talents there. So, we gotta go, but Osho. Yes, sir. Um, let me ask you a very quick question. Do you agree with him that we have talent everywhere? Yes, we do. But uh, how come? Talents don't hide. Even in the old, you will see talent. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the, the truth is, uh, sometimes we just need the right, right people to discover the right things. Mm. Most of the time, people don't want to see the talent. They want to see their game. Okay. So, but when you look beyond the game, the game you see, talent goes more with attitude. So we have a lot of talent who doesn't have a good attitude. Mm. And if there is a good attitude, there comes a good talent. So the problem now is we have so much talent, but the problem is attitude, attitude yeah. to keep the talent going. So that's and it's doing. your job, Osho, yes, Samuel, sir. to keep talking to these <laughs> lads. Yeah. Yes, keep sir. talking to them. If you don't talk to these lads, you know, they are easily moved by what they see, see yes, yeah. that's which true. is a that's societal true. That's issue. True. That's, that's true. why uh, you find nine out of ten kids in the slums smoking and doing all those yeah, things. Very right, yeah. You yeah, need very to right. help them. My heart, you know, um, I, I cry on the inside when I drive, you know, from uh, corners and everything. We see kids smoking, drinking, doing all sorts. They just gather 
you know, in, in groups, in everywhere groups. you turn in Lagos. <laughs> yes. well, I don't know. This... to take them and change the face. Thank of you the very much. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Paul, thank you. That's what I want. You're about to. Oh. You do your own, your own little corner. Romania does us in one, one little, little corner. corner. I do mine in one, one little, little corner. corner. It will make a difference. The security oh. agents are not witches and wizards. Yes. Oh. They can't, and they're not even, the numbers are not much to even go, to go everywhere and everything. You know, it's our should, duty. Let's it's do something. Duty. Let's do I yes. challenge somebody, I say, show me a Nigerian father, parent. Oh, we go to the police and say, am I picking arm robber? No, I'm not. He's <laughs> <it's> real. <laughs> Sunday will not do it. Yes, that's true. Sunday will do it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what? <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> Romela, will you do it? <laughs> Romela said yes. Yes, you will do you it. Do it. <laughs> it's easier said. Yeah, but it's well. That's, the, right, way, that's the way we are. Thank yeah. you for coming, uh, Paul Ogulaja, a scout. And of course, our brother, Shaw Samuel Ikrodu, is proud of you. Thank you very I'm much. I'm sure you stay in that environment. Yes, I do. So Probably I understand so. the system. Probably there. so. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> Thank well, you very much. We have to go. Sir. Sunday, keep your hand yeah. down. I can say I'm not going again. What are you doing last month? Did I get the last month? Okay. My name is Godwin Inakara. Thank you for joining us. The last edition for the week's Sports Plus on Lagos Television. We'll return on Monday, big and better. We appreciate every one of you for always staying tuned. But you owe me a duty, I always say that, is our collective responsibility to pray for this great nation. Nigeria is a great nation. Yes. Keep saying God should bless Nigeria. And I join you, join me in saying, guys, God, God bless, bless Nigeria. Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.